What are the functions of stomach? Temporarily storage of large quantity of food until it can be processed by duodenum. Secretes gastric juice. Mixing of food with gastric secretion and preparing the chyme. Absorption of water, alcohol and lipid soluble substances. Releasing chyme at a controlled steady rate into duodenum. How much gastric juice is secreted per day? 2500 milliliters per day. What are the contents of gastric secretion? Electrolytes such as sodium ions, potassium ions, magnesium ions, hydrogen ions, chloride ions, pepsin, lipase, mucus, intrinsic factor. What is the acid secreted by stomach? Hydrochloric acid. What happens when gastric secretion is chronically reduced? It will increase the risk of infections acquired via oral route. What are the functions of hydrochloric acid in gastric juice? It sterilizes the meal by killing ingested bacteria, provides necessary pH for pepsin to start protein digestion, facilitates iron absorption, stimulates the flow of bile and pancreatic juice, and stabilizes the intrinsic factor. What is the importance of stomach in vitamin metabolism? Dietary vitamin B12 binds to intrinsic factor which is in the gastric juice. This binding facilitates the absorption of vitamin B12 in ileum. What happens in pernicious anemia? In pernicious anemia, there is an autoimmune destruction of gastric parietal cells that are responsible for synthesis of intrinsic factor Lack of intrinsic factor prevent absorption of vitamin B12. Without enough vitamin B12, body will produce abnormally large red blood cells called macrocytes. Due to their large size, they don't leave bone marrow. It decreases the amount of red blood cells in bloodstream, causing anemia. Are there any other functions of gastric secretion? Yes, pepsinogen in gastric juice initiates protein digestion. Hydrochloric acid does not damage stomach mucosa because there is a gastric mucosal barrier which prevents irritation and auto digestion of mucosa by gastric secretions. Okay, what are the components of that barrier and how it works? The mucus produced by surface mucus cells and neck mucus cells form flexible gel that covers the mucosa. Bicarbonate is trapped in this mucus gel, separates the epithelial cells from acid of stomach. Mucus is strongly resistant to digestion by gastric enzymes. Next layer consists of compact epithelial cell lining with tight junctions. Bicarbonate secreted by surface epithelial cells act to neutralize the harsh acids. It maintains pH of epithelial cells alkaline. Trifoil peptides secreted by surface epithelial cells stabilize mucus bicarbonate layer. Prostaglandins stimulate mucus and bicarbonate secretion. What are peptic ulcers? Erosion of areas of gastric or duodenal mucosa exposed to acid and pepsin secretion. What are the common causes for peptic ulcers? Infection with bacterium Helicobacter pylori, long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. How long-term usage of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can give rise to peptic ulcers? They inhibit the production of prostaglandins and consequently decrease mucus and bicarbonate secretion. It weakens the gastromucosal barrier. Smoking affected? Yes, it increases the gastric acid secretion. Yes. What is Solinger-Ellison syndrome? It is seen in patients with gastrinomas, a tumor that secretes gastrin, increased level of gastrin hormone, stimulates the acid production. This excess acid production can cause severe ulcers. How are you going to treat a patient with peptic ulcer disease? Giving proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole and related drugs. Giving antibiotics to eradicate helicobacter pylori if present. 
Stopping the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs if possible, but when it is not advisable, treating with prostaglandin agonists, removing the gastrinoma surgically if present. What are the lifestyle recommendations that you can give for this patient? Avoid stress, get an adequate sleep, avoid spicy foods and alcohol. What are the complications of gastrectomy? Dumping syndrome, vitamin B12 deficiency. What happens in dumping syndrome? When these patients get a large meal, the glucose in the meal is rapidly absorbed from intestine. So, insulin secretion is increased. About 2 hours after meal, patient become hypoglycemic and present with weakness, dizziness and sweating. How to manage this condition? Avoiding large meals, avoiding the foods that have high concentration of simple sugars, consuming small and frequent meals.